This is the blue printer. It's a new 3D printer we have developed. We would like to show you what it can do and how it works. This is how it looks on the inside. In the center, there's the building chamber. This is where the models are being printed. There's a display showing the status of the printer. And as you see, there's no buttons on the printer. That's because it's all controlled from a browser. And if you follow me, I'll show you how it works. You type blueprinter.local and you'll be taken to the user interface of the printer. This is a graphical representation of the build chamber. And it's in here you control everything. We can uh, drag in our STL models, or dragging a uh, lamp design from a designer called Dissingoff. Once you're satisfied with the layout, you simply push print, and the printer will start printing your models immediately. What we're seeing here is a visualization of the lamp being printed. We are distributing thin layers of plastic powder and sintering the cross section of the model. The uncentered powder acts as support for overhangs and adds stability to the structure. Depending on how many layers your model consists of, a job can take anywhere from a few hours up to a few days. The printing is now done, which the display will tell you. You open up the lid. The display now tells you to empty the chamber. You take the remover box, which is this one, place it on top of the building chamber. A short countdown will appear and the models will be ejected into the remover. When it's done, you take the bottom plate and slide it underneath the remover box and carry it to the cleaning station. This is the build removed from the printer. This is the cleaning station. So what we do is placing the build in the cleaning station and removing the remover box. Put my arms in and I'll start cleaning. Depending on the, the build size or the geometry, it can take anywhere from five minutes till uh, 30 minutes. After you have waited uh, for the dust to settle, you uh, gently open the front lid um, and you uh, remove the finished model. It's a good idea to rinse it in water, but except from that, it's a finished model. This is now the finished Dissinghoff lamp. It's just been uh, cleaned and it's uh, ready to go. It's um, a very good example of a complex shape. You can actually use it to test the lighting, how it looks with an, with an actually bulb in it. Um, see if you're happy with the design, and if not, you can uh, make an other iteration of it. The Dissinghoff lamp is a great example of the freeform capabilities, and as you can see, we have other examples. Basically, there are no limits. Uh, another thing we would like to show you is also the, the flexibility of our models. Uh, we're able to produce quite flexible parts. Uh, they can be handled without any problem. I have some other examples to to really show you the, the flexibility. This is a simple mesh, uh, but it's a, it's a great way to, to illustrate that basically we have the flexibility. It's a fully centered plastic model that you, you take straight out of the printer. The last thing is, uh, again, to show off the, the strength and the flexibility of the parts. Fully functional models, uh, basically, straight out of the printer. We deliver easy to use, high precision, strong and flexible quality models at an affordable price. And that is the blueprinter. Mm -hmm.